Hey everyone, right now I have chapter 12, part 2 uploading on my YouTube channel of Mental Chemistry. You don't want to miss this. Until then, I'm going over the chakra systems. So far I've gone over the first three. You guys ready for number four? And this chakra, I believe, is the most important because it is the heart chakra. It is the Anahata chakra, the source of which all things flow. So, let's get started. Chakra number four, heart chakra, Anahata. The heart chakra, the wellspring of love, warmth, compassion, and joy is located in the center of the chest at the heart level, Anahata moves love through your life. It is the center of your deep bonds with other beings, your sense of caring and compassion, your feelings of self-love, altruism, generosity, kindness and respect. Anahata is an integrating and unifying chakra, bringing, the, bringing to wholeness as such. It is your healing center. Indeed, most spiritual traditions recognize love as the ultimate healing force. The energy of Anahata allows us to recognize that we are part of something larger, that we are interconnected within an intricate web of relationships extending through life and the universe. Anahata allows us to recognize and get in touch with the sacred and fundamental truth that runs through, that runs through all of life and connects everything together. The way of the heart, or the path of the heart, is living your life from this energy center of love. It means living your life with loving kindness and compassion towards others. It means that your heart is open to others and inspire kindness and compassion in others. You create safe and supportive environments. Others can feel your warmth. They feel loved and accepted unconditionally. People feel at peace around you as there is no judgment coming from you. When Anahata is open and flowing freely, you are not only loving to others, you are loving to yourself. You know when you need to say no and when you need when you need care and self nurturing. All of the chakras are important and while I cannot say that the heart chakra is the most important, I do want to say that it is very important. Most of the world's spiritual traditions recognize love as the unifying force, the energy that is the most fundamental part of the universe and of ourselves. To open to love is to reach to the deepest places and connect with the truth and connect with our true essence our spirit, and our soul. Heart chakra characteristics. Sanskrit name is Anahata, or unstruck. Element is air. Color is green. Shape is a crescent moon. Petals of the lotus are 12. Seed sound is lamb. Vowel sound is A. Rites is to love. Endocrine gland is the thymus. Physical association, heart, lungs, and the circulatory system arms, hands, psychological function is love, identity, social identity, and developmental stage is 3.5 to 7 years. Its challenge is grief, its plane is on the plane of balance, planets, Venus, lunar, feminine, and the sun, deity is Vish, Vishnu, Lakshmi, and Krishna. Mythological animal is the antelope, dove, and birds. Its sense organ is the skin. Its predominant sense is touch. Its incense is jasmine, lavender, and rose. Its herb is yellow, meadow sweet, orris, orris root. Its sephra is tifereth, tifereth, t i p h a r e t h. And the terat sweet are the swords. Tifereth. Hmm. Let's see if my definitions have it. Tifereth. Hmm. Okay, that, that would be something I would need to look up on the internet. My, it's not in the definitions, it must be something special. 
it is special. Heart Chakra Affirmations I am open to love. All love resides within my heart. I, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. I nurture my inner life. I am wanted and loved. I live in balance, in a state of gracefulness and gratitude. I love the beauty of nature and the animal world. I forgive myself. I am open to love and kindness. I am grateful for all my challenges that help me transform and open up to love. I am connected with other beings. I feel a sense of unity with nature and, and the animals. I am at peace. There's something I want to show you guys really quick. This is plaque I bought. Follow your heart. Your heart is the master organ. It's jaw. <laughs> Greg Braden, look it up. He's a modern day scientist. And, um, I think you'll really like his material. He goes into saying how the heart produces electrical waves 100 times stronger than the brain does. And it produces magnetic waves 500 times stronger than the brain does. It is your heart's responsibility to register the atmosphere around you. Listen to your heart. You know, when you feel a certain way, it is because of the atmosphere you're in. There's this thing, it's called places of power. And the way, the places of power essentially is the most dominant thought vibrations in the atmosphere. I'm sure you've been somewhere before and you felt really uneasy or you didn't feel welcome or, you know, you kind of felt impelled to act in a certain way because it's an atmosphere that you're not quite sure of. You know, and if you stick with me, you'll figure out how you can overcome, how you can register, how you can understand these forces, this energy around you, because that's what I'm here for. That's what I was sent to do. Okay, now we have our next chakra. We're going to go over that in the next video. That's going to be the Visuddha. And that is the throat chakra. I'll see you guys soon.